Have you ever heard the claim that gin-soaked raisins can cure arthritis? Or maybe you've heard that it's just an old wives' tale with no scientific backing. Well, we're about to embark on a quest to discover the truth behind these gin-soaked morsels. Gin-soaked raisins. The name alone piques curiosity, doesn't it? It's a concoction, as intriguing as it sounds, steeped in both history and mystery. For decades, these potent little snacks have been a buzzword in health and wellness circles, creating a divide between believers and skeptics. On one side, we have the believers, those who swear by the healing powers of gin-soaked raisins. They claim that these tiny treats help alleviate the symptoms of arthritis, improve digestion, and even boost immunity. According to them, it's a natural remedy that's been passed down through generations, a testament to its effectiveness. On the other side of the divide, we have the skeptics. They argue that the claims surrounding gin-soaked raisins are nothing more than myth and folklore. They assert that any perceived benefits are likely the result of the placebo effect, a psychological phenomenon where a person's belief in the treatment, rather than the treatment itself, brings about an improvement in their condition. But who's right? Are gin-soaked raisins a miraculous cure-all? Or is it all just a bunch of hocus-pocus? In this video, we'll be your guides, helping you navigate through the sea of information, or misinformation, about gin-soaked raisins. We'll dig deep into the history and science behind this controversial remedy, exploring its potential benefits and limitations. We'll also address the common myths and questions surrounding gin-soaked raisins, as well as how to make your own batch at home. But before we dive in, let's first understand what exactly are gin-soaked raisins and how they came to be known as a cure for arthritis. As the name suggests, Gin-soaked raisins are simply raisins that have been soaked in gin. The process involves soaking raisins in a jar of gin for several days until the raisins absorb most of the alcohol. These potent little morsels are then eaten on a regular basis, usually eight to 10 per day. The origins of this remedy can be traced back to ancient Greece, where raisins were often soaked in wine and used to treat a range of ailments. Later on, during the Middle Ages, gin became a popular alternative to wine as it was believed to have medicinal properties. As a result, people began soaking their raisins in gin instead of wine, leading to the creation of what we now know as gin-soaked raisins. The practice continued through the centuries, with gin-soaked raisins being touted as a cure for everything from joint pain to digestive issues. But it wasn't until the 20th century that this remedy gained widespread popularity, thanks to a book by D.C. Jarvis titled Folk Medicine, a Vermont Doctor's Guide to Good Health. In his book, Jarvis shared his belief in the healing properties of gin-soaked raisins and how it had helped his patients with arthritis. This sparked a renewed interest in the remedy, leading to its popularity in modern times. Now that we have a better understanding of the history behind gin-soaked raisins, let's take a closer look at the common myths of this controversial remedy. One common myth is that gin-soaked raisins are a cure-all, able to treat everything from arthritis to heart disease. This belief has been floating around for years, passed down through generations, and even proclaimed on various health forums. But, as you might suspect, the truth is a bit more nuanced. Sure, gin-soaked raisins do have potential health benefits, but they are not the miracle cure some proclaim them to be. The raisins, rich in fiber and antioxidants, and the gin, which when infused with juniper berries, contribute anti-inflammatory properties and do offer some health advantages. These benefits, however, cannot single-handedly combat complex health conditions like heart disease or arthritis. These conditions are multifaceted and influenced by a wide range of factors, including genetics, lifestyle, and overall diet. Thus, the notion that a single food item, however nutritious, could serve as a panacea is a bit of a stretch. This is not to say that gin-soaked raisins have no place in a healthy diet. Quite the contrary. They can be a delightful addition to your nutritional regime offering a unique blend of flavors and health benefits. They can contribute to a balanced diet, 
which is a critical part of maintaining good health and combating disease. Another myth is that gin-soaked raisins are harmful to your health because of the alcohol content. Now, let's take a moment to examine this claim. First off, it's important to understand that the process of soaking raisins in gin isn't about creating a boozy snack. Instead, it's about infusing the raisins with the beneficial properties of the juniper berries used in gin production. Now, you might be thinking, but what about the alcohol? Here's where the science comes in. When you soak raisins in gin, the alcohol actually evaporates during the soaking process. That's right, the alcohol doesn't stay in the raisins. It's much like cooking with wine. The alcohol burns off, leaving behind only the flavors and beneficial elements. And what are these beneficial elements? Well, juniper berries, the main ingredient in gin, are known for their health benefits. They have antiseptic, anti-rheumatic, and digestive properties. They're also a rich source of flavonoids, a type of antioxidant that helps protect our bodies from harmful free radicals. In fact, it's these very properties that made gin-soaked raisins a popular home remedy for arthritis pain. The thought is that the juniper berries can help reduce inflammation and pain. And while the scientific jury is still out on the effectiveness of this particular remedy, it's clear that the juniper berries offer health benefits. So, where does this leave us with the myth that gin-soaked raisins are harmful due to their alcohol content? Well, we can confidently debunk this. The alcohol in the gin does not stay in the raisins. Instead, it evaporates, leaving behind the beneficial properties of the juniper berries. In other words, while gin-soaked raisins might not be a magic cure-all, they're certainly not a health hazard because of the alcohol content. So fear not, gin-soaked raisins won't get you tipsy. Now that we've debunked the myths, what exactly are the health benefits of gin-soaked raisins? Well, let's dive right in. Raisins on their own are already a powerhouse of nutrients. They are packed with fiber, which is essential for a healthy digestive system. These little dried fruits are also rich in antioxidants, which help protect our cells from damaging free radicals. Now, soak these raisins in gin and you've got yourself a tasty treat with added benefits. Gin, contrary to some beliefs, isn't just a vehicle for a good cocktail. It's distilled from juniper berries, which have been used medicinally for centuries. These berries are known for their anti-inflammatory properties, and they're packed with antioxidants too. So, combining the antioxidant-rich raisins and gin gives you a double dose of these cell-protecting compounds. But the health benefits of gin-soaked raisins don't stop there. Many people have reported improved joint health after incorporating these into their diet. While there's still a lot of research to be done in this area, some studies suggest that the combination of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds found in gin-soaked raisins could help alleviate joint discomfort. It's important to remember, though, that these aren't a substitute for medical treatment if you're dealing with a serious joint condition. And let's not forget the fun factor. Eating healthy doesn't have to be boring, and gin-soaked raisins are anything but that. They're a unique, tasty addition to any diet, and the fact that they come with some potential health benefits is just the cherry on top. Curious about how to make your own gin-soaked raisins? It's quite simple. To make gin-soaked raisins, start with a clean, dry glass jar with a tight-fitting lid. Fill the jar about three-quarters full with golden raisins. You could use about a cup for a small jar. Pour in enough gin to completely cover the raisins. The type of gin is up to personal preference, but a high quality brand with a strong juniper flavor can add more health benefits. Seal the jar tightly and give it a gentle shake to ensure the gin coats all the raisins. Store the jar in a cool, dark place for about two weeks, giving the jar a shake every few days. After two weeks, the gin-soaked raisins are ready to use. You can eat about nine of these a day as part of a balanced diet. In conclusion, while there's no definitive scientific proof that gin-soaked raisins are a cure-all for health issues, they do contain components that are beneficial for our health, making them a reasonably good addition to a balanced diet. They may not be a magical cure, but they're certainly a delicious and potentially helpful treat that you can enjoy responsibly. 
If you've enjoyed learning about gin-soaked raisins, show some love by hitting that like button. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button too, because we've got a lot more healthful tidbits coming your way. Join our community and let's journey towards better health together. We would love to hear your thoughts and experience with gin-soaked raisins. Have you tried them before? What benefits have you noticed? Leave a comment below and let's keep the conversation going. Your input could inspire others on their journey to better health. Please note that the content provided in this video is for educational purposes only and should not be considered medical advice. It is always important to consult with a healthcare provider before making any significant dietary changes. Thanks for watching. Here's to a happier, healthier you.